Hey, Dan. Hey, Paulie. Good to see you again. Good to see you, mate. I just wanted to share actually an experience that I've had throughout my entire childhood growing up, up into adulthood, um, really up until... <laughs> <laughs> Last night. <laughs> yeah, up until last night. I have always been the guy who could, if you ask my group of friends and we we go out for dinner, I'll always say at the end, could have something a little sweet for the mouth. And uh, it's become kind of an inside joke in my group of friends for that to, to take place. And I just wanted to kind of riff on that for a little bit because there's a very clear reason that so many of us can stuff ourselves full of savoury and uh, main courses and then be busting at the seams, but all of a sudden find a new stomach <laughs> for dessert. And, and it's for evolutionary purposes. I mean, you know, sweet food, generally speaking, is very high in calories. And when we are, we're hunter-gatherers, uh, if we found something sweet, we knew that it was going to sustain us and fight off starvation for, for, for longer and longer. So when we have even just the thought of something sweet in our mind, an activity center goes off in our brain and it's like, this is, some, this is a reward center and I need it. And, and it's a very, very clear biological reward center that takes place. Something, something interesting um, that, that I recently read was, um, you know, uh, fruits um, that, that are sweet uh, through the hunter-gatherer times were very rarely, if ever, um, poisonous. So once again, that's just a, like, like a biological reasoning for hunter-gatherers to go out and know that something sweet wasn't going to kill them if they were foraging around. And it just became this, um, this, this reason that we loved sweet things, you know, and, and it started engaging with our biology and we knew that um, the calories would sustain life for a lot longer. And it was, a, it was a pretty powerful thing and it kind of resonated with me and it gave me a reason as to biologically why we all lean on this dessert notion. So um, I just thought it'd be worth sharing that, that with you. Have you experienced anything like that, Dan, or are you not a sweet man? No, I'm the sweetest. Um, I'm an ice cream lover and mm. have been all my life. And it also actually makes me think about breakfast and uh, first meal of the day. I often crave fruit um, more of a, a sweet um, breakfast rather than a savoury breakfast. But I, I really looked at that and I just try and mix things up. Um, and I also find that it just, you know, usually if I have a sweet breakfast, you know, granola, fruit, some yogurt, um, I often want more. I think the sugar just drives me to want more food. Um, whereas if I have something really simple, um, and keep it quite savoury. It feels like it satiates me for a little bit longer and it kind of hits on different aspects of, you know, my internal world. Um, and I just love the desire to want to have ice cream every night and also just recognise that that doesn't serve me to do it every night. So the old, you know, rigging the environment and not bringing it into the home is powerful. Um, I do go on some long walks with my 12 week old and duck out for some ice cream from time to time. That's only natural. I guess if I'm walking, I, I kind of earned it. Um, but you know, I just, sorry. I, I just want to interject there for a moment and say that is the time that you, you you've, you've set your environment up where you've made it as difficult for yourself to actually go get the ice cream. So I say for all of you out there that are listening to this, if you've gone and walked the, the half an hour to a, to a supermarket or to a milk bar to go out there and specifically get an ice cream, go nuts, mate. But just, yeah. just don't make it so easy for yourself that you can literally fall off your couch right. into the kitchen, grow to the freezer and grab an ice cream. It's just too easy. 
and we've spoken a lot about daily habits, but there was a point in the uh, early part of, of Sailor's life that was a daily habit to go for a walk and get something sweet <laughs> on the walk. So even that needed to be looked at too. But I think it's just, you know, finding balance, a bit of moderation, uh, enjoying when it's time and also just keeping the commitments that we have. Uh, for me, it's the commitment to not eat ice cream every night because I literally want to do that. Um, and I think that might be quite relatable for everyone in their own way. So, um, you know, making changes there. And I've come from a long lineage of ice cream lovers. So I'm just breaking the cycle and hopefully can kind of pass that on to, to my children too. So it's, it's a great topic. And I just think uh, balance is key and enjoyment is equally as important too. Absolutely. Love it. So action item for that is rigging your environment so you can make it as challenging for yourself to, to be able to get that easy reward. Mm. Just make the easy reward difficult to achieve. Yeah. And just last, one last note on your, on, your, on your breakfast that you were talking about. You know, you said that you found that you find your, it, it, that you're hungrier after you have a sweet breakfast. And that's tends to be because if you have something that is high in, um, you know, refined carbohydrates, first thing in the morning, your insulin's going to spike and you're con consistently then chasing the dragon. You're going to have a spike in insulin and then it's going to drop low. You're going to feel like you're, you're going to be like hangry and you're going to need something again. And this is why modern cuisine is constantly based on refined carbohydrates because it's no accident that these multi-billion dollar organizations who are creating these foods know that if you eat it, your insulin's going to drop and you're going to need some more of it very soon after. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Great point. And um, just a topic to raise for one of our next chats. We can just call it hangry. Hangry. Love it. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs>